Greetings, interwebs. Tonight I'm going to be talking about the 6th GOP primary debate that was held on the 14th of January, 2016. I gotta be honest, it was actually better than the other debates. It started off with the GNC rep coming out and saying, this is all about unity because we're going to have to fucking get all behind one motherfucker. So, good for the GNC. They realize that they're going to have to have a united party. And throughout the debate, there were actually messages of unity fucking ensuring that everybody was going to support the nominee. So that was refreshing. There were still attacks that were pretty uh, severe, but, you know, the last few Republican debates have been pretty much nothing but fucking shit-flinging contest. At least when they were fucking attacked on this fucking debate, they fucking... Well, I'll give it to Ted Cruz. Ted Cruz, when he was getting attacked, he's like, can we focus on the issues? We, d we need to focus on the issues. I love it. Fucking in the Democratic debates, fucking Sanders says we should let go of the email scandal and focus on the issues. And that's, that's insane. They can't, they're like, well, we can't understand why somebody else would say that about a different candidate. Ted Cruz, though, he's like, nope, we need to focus on the issues now. And they mostly did, and their response to most things, like, if you elect a Republican, you know we're going to be sending troops to Syria. That's, we might be sending troops to Iran, too, so that's fun. That's going to be awesome. More war in the Middle East. Yay! America. So... Lots of fear-mongering, there's lots of danger in the world, and you have Trump once again coming out and saying we should fucking make sure we don't fucking let them refugees in, or the Muslims, all fucking are postulating that fucking Muslim men are fucking the predominant fucking people coming and escaping fucking ISIS in Syria, but, you know, whatever. They fear-monger, that's what they do, you come to expect it from the Republican Party. You have to be afraid of everything. You have to be afraid of fucking the Muslims and fucking the government. And they made sure that you were afraid of Barack Obama because a good chunk of the debate was attacking the current president. And then a lot of the times it was attacking Hillary Clinton. One time Bernie Sanders came, well he came up like I think twice, but John Kasich, Kasich, I, I can't remember his last name. He's not going to win. So, he was asked about Bernie Sanders, and his response was, ha 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 ha, if Bernie Sanders gets the Democratic primary, all of us can beat him. And that made me laugh, because, uh, I'm hoping we get to see a challenge accepted on that one. I mean, it's nice that your party is finally starting to try to unify, because you know if you don't, you're going to be fucked in 2016. But you're still preaching a message of division. We have to be afraid of the other. And that's fine. There is a good deal of danger. We should probably be afraid of some of the things that ISIS can do, but you blow it out of proportion. It's fear fucking theater. Everything has to... You have to be afraid of everything, and you saw that a lot in this debate. And you played right into Trump's hands, because he is very good playing on that fucking fear tactic. He can fucking manipulate his and he keeps his language very simplistic so it's like if he didn't know what he was talking about other people talking about stuff just put ideas into his head so uh who do i think won uh, i i don't know honestly probably trump because i felt they fucking seemed like they focused on him a little bit more because they kept asking questions that referred to him, and every time you fucking get referenced in somebody else's statement, you get time, so pretty sure it caused the show to run over. But there was a point where Ted Cruz and Trump started dick-waving and stuff, the birther issue and all that good shit, and uh, fucking... They even showed unity while they were attacking each other. That was fucking hilarious. Trump's like, I'm just trying to bring it up so the Democrats don't sue you when we get to the primary. I'm just trying to make sure. I like you so much, you could be my VP. If I win the fucking primary. So, that was probably a fucking 
ploy to soften the Cruz voters for voting for Trump, and then fucking Cruz turns around, fucking is like, hey, right back at you. Like, they're, they're fucking using this, hey, we can be each other's VP while we're attacking each other. It's gonna be fun, you fucking idiot. But yes, at least they were fucking trying to unite. Fucking the marriage of the one of the Democratic candidates was brought up, and fucking the response from Ben Carson was, God, Christian values. When really, Bill and Hillary Clinton's marital affairs are none of your fucking business. They're none of my fucking business. It's their business. It's their family's business. But hey, God, Christian values, I th I'm sorry, I thought I was falling asleep. Fucking, he actually fucking made a joke about his fucking slow fucking tendencies. I guess he's trying to fucking poke fun at himself, whatever. But no, it was, it was much better than the other Republican debates. I will give them that. But it still carries the same message of we must... Fearmonger. I will give it to Trump. He actually seems to know what he's talking about when it comes to fucking dealing with fucking China and shit. So, it, it seemed that way to me. I don't know if that's actually true. I haven't fact-checked the videos, or the debate yet, because gut reaction. Anyway, oh, something tells me Trump is going to win, because they're all... Focusing on, ah, fuck, we have to be united now, otherwise they're gonna ass-stomp us in the fucking general election, because we're gonna have, we'll have torn each other apart to shreds, and none of us will be respectable. Have another fucking Mitt Romney running and shit. But, so, they learned from the last election, you can't fucking go up to fucking primary fucking week, fucking just tearing the fuck out of each other and not being like, hey, we're all fucking Republicans. So that's good. I gotta give them to that. I'm for unity. I mean, I disagree with a lot of their ideology, but, you know. The thing that fucking struck me most fucking peculiar about this debate, they all fucking recognize that fucking money has a fucked up influence in fucking politics. Like, that's a good thing. Because that's the unifying factor that all Americans agree with. Like, I don't think the Republicans are gonna fucking try to fix the problem, don't get me wrong. I mean, where do they take their fucking funding from? You have one person up there who fucking brags about having fucking actually tried to buy off politicians and succeeding. So, I mean, there is that. But yes, pretty good debate. They actually fucking gotten some substance on the fucking issues and shit. It was fucking fear-mongering and fucking attacking the Democrats, so, you know, par for the course. But they acted more like adults to each other, and I guess that fucking garners a moniker of respect compared to the previous performances, so round of applause, GOP fucking debate number six. You finally semi-acted like adults. Good for you. Anyway, that's my overall reaction to the fucking final pro or the sixth GOP primary debate I love uh, fact check things later to see how much bullshit was slung but hey at least they slung it well that's good right some of it might be true some of it might be kind of true some of it might be completely another nonsense like you know the refugee crap from Trump but you know it, it's whatever we'll go into it we'll look into it see what's true and what's not if I have the motivation Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a good night.